Welcome to Empower to Grow, the podcast. I am your host, Hanan al the business doctor. Following our conversations with empowered women who woke up one day and consciously claimed, I am more than enough. I am worthy. I am empowered to grow. And along their empowering journey towards realizing their own potential and their quest for growth, they became a beacon of hope and guidance for others. May you also find your inner power to grow. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Empowered to Grow. This is your host, Hanan al This is the continued uncharted discussion with Noor al Kouari, our uh, beautiful health coach. And we had touched on some on an issue in our first episode that we wanted to kind of uh, discuss a bit further, and it's about body image, and it's about um, expectations. But more importantly, and more specifically, it is about the expectations of um, ladies who just gave birth, who are anticipated and pressured by society to regain a certain weight that might not be, it's not just about being realistic or not, might not even be healthy for them. And the time frames that people start talking about. And I think Nora, I mean, you, you touched on your personal experience with that same with me. It was, it's always that, it's always that pressure. And that pressure is mostly um, a very unhealthy pressure for someone going through such a turmoil of hormone changes and body changes going through that process of pregnancy and birth. So what are your ideas of it? And, And I know that you support women in that sense because of what you had to endure yourself. So what is it? For you, what does it really mean? And, and how are things or some things that we can start shifting in our mindsets towards that approach? Well, I've, I've seen so many uh, women suffer after just like few days after giving birth and start asking me whether they're like friends or relatives on how to start losing weight. Mm-hmm. And it really bothers me to see them in that mindset while they should be just nurturing their newborn and just figuring out because it's it's usually a new thing to do. <laughs> Even if you have other children, it's different every time. Sure. And it's overwhelming every time you cannot like uh, find it easy because giving birth, even if you have children, it's it's much harder. Well, you have to take care of the newborn and the older kids and all of that. So it's not the, the right time to start dieting, not for your mental health, not your, for your uh, breastfeeding or for your hormones. It's, it's not the best time to do that. And I would say that they should invest in just understanding motherhood and uh, understanding how their body is working, uh, what's happening actually in their bodies after giving birth and how can they bond with the baby, how to have better mental health in that situation rather than thinking of just losing weight. That weight where you gained in nine months, just give it at least the same amount of time to go away that's true this is just being very kind and compassionate with your body because you're just asking too much of it so yeah it started with myself when i was pressured again that was not social media pressure it was like peer pressure and family pressure and everyone around me so yeah it was like the idea of you're not going back. Well, I've heard someone talk about this and it was really inspiring to hear. When you have um, grown up and changed through years yeah. and you ex- accept that, that your, 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 uh, your, your brain changes, your ideas, your, your way of thinking, you grow older, you grow wiser, but you don't even want your body to change. You want a body of a, a 15-year-old girl and a brain of a 30-year-old woman. That, 
that can't happen. You brought life to this world. So why would you want to have the body of a teenager? That's true. You should accept that your body is changing when you when you embrace these choices. That's why when you choose to have a baby, you have to choose it very wisely and and you have to be aware about that choice and what comes with that choice. I, I think mainly it's the unaware choice that makes us don't want to live in this body that have this choice without our consent, maybe. I think so then, this is... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I think this is kind of denial or just refusing the idea that becoming a mother comes with this body. But I think there's also the part, as you said, there's, there is the... Um, there is the, the pressure from, from those around you, from the family, because of uh, false expectations. Mm. It's like they're always trying to say, you need to, to oppose the, the image. <laughs> and yeah. there, is, there is media and there is social media that keeps mm. telling you that putting negative connotations to a, a, a body of a mother. So even like if we say, um, what was a pop culture and those kind of yeah. terms that we use as a joke, it's like, oh, these are so mommy jeans. It's like, what's yeah. wrong with mommy jeans, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There's always this kind of thing that- Out of fashion. <laughs> exactly, that, that yeah. even a changing body shape is associated, is immediately negatively associated with an image yes. that you don't want. So you always yes. have to be the slim, tall model type yes. to be able to say, oh, I'm not a mom. I don't need to have a body of a mom. And we're not mm -hmm. saying that having a mom body is is an opportunity or something to say, oh, I'm not going to work on myself anymore. I, I just no. I don't mind the extra layers of fat and, and the flab and whatever. We're just yeah. saying that, as you said, to accept your body, to love your body, and then see how to nurture it too, as you nurture your baby, yes. to nurture your body, yes. to nourish it, and to, to see what works for you. You don't have to aspire to an image, because I know I went through that, you know, kind of when I discovered CrossFit, and, and I started seeing and following all the CrossFit stars on, you know, on Instagram, like, I want that body. It's not realistic yeah. for my body shape, yeah. but in my yeah. mind, I wanted that. Yeah. And that's the part I think there's a disassociation Mm -hmm. between what our body is capable of yes. and what we want it to look like. Yes. Yes. So like how how do you think this could be this this unhealthy cycle could be broken? Mm -hmm. Well, for me when I had that C section, it was an emergency and it was the way it saved my child and it was a miracle actually because mm -hmm. she was getting blue, she couldn't push through and I, need, I needed that C-section for her to survive. Mm -hmm. So I can't, they, they just kept saying that this C-section is the reason mm -hmm. I will lose my body forever and this is, this is not the way I see it. Mm -hmm. It was the reason my child is alive. So we don't really appreciate what uh, science, medicine, or our bodies can do to keep us alive. We just <laughs> keep telling our bodies that you're not doing enough. Yeah. So uh, I think the shift can be, um, sorry, what was the question again? It's like, how can we break this, this cycle of, of expectations? of having to go right away to go back to a body that might not even have been ours to start with mm -hmm. or an, an image that's not that. And yeah. nurturing ourselves and, and loving our bodies. And then- Well, it starts with, hard. yeah. It starts with st shifting the, the mindset. Mm -hmm. It starts in your head before it starts with actions. Yes. So first of all, I would say it starts with choosing the right goal and it, it shouldn't be body or like size oriented it should be health oriented so 
you just gave birth, you have to know that your body have been through a lot for the past nine months. And you have for the coming two years to nurture a child. Yeah. Whether it's by breastfeeding, staying up late, all of that. Yeah. So you just have to focus to be healthy, first of all. True. And this time of your life, losing weight is not a priority. It will come with time, but not right after giving birth. Yeah. Because it's been a shock for your body. Your hormones are all over the place. So you just have to focus on uh, a health-oriented goal. Second of all, just give yourself a very realistic weight loss plan. Yeah. Just cut yourself slack and wait for a while. I'm not saying that you can eat whatever you want or like eat all the food you want. Yeah. But at least it's not time to have or deprive yourself of any kind of food. Yeah. Just eat healthy, wholesome food, clean food, cheat every now and then, yeah. but that's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not the time to like cut off carbs or cut off sugar. This is what I hear most of uh, women doing that they cut off carbs. You need carbs. You need carbs in order to to have enough milk and like the the quality of the the, the breast milk is different when you're just cutting off sugar and carbs. Yeah. So for at least a year, just don't put any pressure on losing weight and focus on your health and how to nurture your baby and how to bond with that baby and to have a healthy relationship with the baby not, and not and a healthy relationship with your body and not to hate on it yes. or uh, yes. yeah <laughs> this is really important it's because important. and you have to to see and if you are like into social media and and you like to be motivated just follow people who are like really real people yeah, people just like us, not models, because mm -hmm. that can give you a real insight. And sometimes, yeah, you need to see people who have flappy skin and stretch marks just to, in order to feel that you are normal and that's mommy body, as you said. Yeah, <laughs> and this is what comes with having a baby. And it's not just because bodies, actually. It's 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 just real bodies. It's not yeah. photoshopped. It is life. I started getting stretch marks when when I was going through puberty. So 13, yeah, no, 13 no. years old. So it's yeah. not about that, you know, I, I became very overweight. It's just that that's how my body, my skin stretched. And it's okay. But I spent a good 30 plus years hating that about me. Yeah. Like, What's wrong with me? Why is my skin all like this? It's not. Yeah. It's just the nature of my skin. Are there ways to, to help it stretch in a way that is healthy? Sure, there are ways to nourish my body in that way. But it is not a reason, as you said, to hate on my body. And I think that is the part that we really need to keep talking about, keep, keep hammering in, because the more we have a hate relationship with our body, the more we have a dislike relationship with our body the more that we will actually be depriving our body of what yeah. nourishes it and that in itself has a lot more of a negative impact than just aiming for a body that is not realistic so i think we can we can spend a few hours talking about this and yeah. <laughs> barely scratching the surface but um Thank you for, for advocating for, for self-love and body love and for um, re-establishing a relationship with our, our um, food in a way that nourishes, especially um, birthing moms who, who need all the love that they can because they need to be full of love to love themselves, to love their, their babies, to love everyone around them, to be able to counter the effects of everything their body had to go through. Thank you, Noura, for this discussion. And uh, 
hopefully we'll have a lot more discussions of the same topic. <laughs> Thank you, Hanal, for having me. I really enjoyed my time. Thank you. My first podcast. Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's okay. okay. <laughs> well, I assure you it's not going to be your last. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Thank you for being here. Please do have these conversations with yourself, within yourself. Please start looking at your body as the vessel that carries you through life, and the vessel that only its job is to protect you, is to nourish you, is to nurture you, and start loving and nourishing your body in return. And remember, empowered you empowers others. Love abundance, and prosperity to you all. Thank you for listening to the Empowered to Grow podcast. For further engagement with a tribe of empowered women, join my Facebook group, Empowered to Grow, or visit my website, www.hananelbasha.com. I'll catch you on the next episode. And until then, know that empowered you empowers others. Love, abundance, and prosperity to you all.